soon, all of you. Yes, I can see that you people are already there today. And yes, we are live on both the channels because this is a very special session right now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, all of you. Yes, I can see Mona Lisha is here. Yash, Banti Thakur, Pragati, Dhruvi, Ayushi, Dilip Kumar. A very warm welcome, guys. Yes. So why are we having this session today? Well, I'm here to help you plan and prepare the best timetable to ace your midterm exams. Your exams are just around the corner. And we need a very specific timetable. We need a very efficient timetable to, you know, to be able to ace the exam. Yes, yes, I am doing really well. Thank you. How are you all doing? How is the preparation going? Yes, Preetam, Hindi mein bhi bolenge. Don't worry. Kaisi preparation chal rahi hai? How are you all feeling that the exams are on the corner? Pacha, this is for all of you, starting from grade 6 to grade 10. Because in some form or the other, your exams are bound to come, right? Yes, absolutely. And I think everything boils down to how effectively you can utilize time. And that's why this session is super important for all of you. Oh, preparation is going good. Amazing. Really nervous. Nice going bad. I can see a mix of answers. I think we tend to believe that the preparation is not going good. That's that's how the mind works sometimes, right? So I think you're nervous, which is very natural. That is okay. I think if right now today I also have to sit for an exam, I would be a little nervous. So don't worry about that. Yes, absolutely. Don't worry, guys. We are here today to share this timetable with you. And I'll actually tell you how many things you can do in a single day. You know, we tend to waste a lot of time. Now, how to effectively utilize every hour. This is what the session is all about. You can definitely modify everything based on your school timings, based on, you know, whether you're more active during the morning or at night. So you can definitely modify this timetable as per your convenience. But what I want you to focus on, what I want all of you to realize is that there is a lot that we can do in a single day. Hey Neha, good to have you. Oh, you were studying chemistry, Yash. That's great. Yes, so it doesn't matter whether you're in grade 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10. I think you definitely need a timetable. But before we dive straight into it, I hope all of you have already registered for Anthe. The link is right there in the description box, guys. Because, see, we'll keep coming up with opportunities. But you have to grab these opportunities as well, right? So, the link is there. Go ahead and you can win up to 100% scholarship. Cash rewards are also there. And you will get all India ranks. So, you'll actually know where you stand. I think that's very important for us to, you know, Absolute terms mein hum kaisa kar is important, but relative terms mein hum kaisa kar rahe, that is equally important. And this is one test that's going to give you that fair idea. So go ahead and for the preparation part, we are sharing the mock test exams, mock test papers with you as well. Hindi ko kaise pade? Aviraj, watch this session, you'll understand when to study language based subjects. Don't worry. Achha, next unit test we start ho gaya. Yes, so quickly guys, right after this session, go ahead and register yourself for this exam. And of course, you know what's, you know, what's the star mark over here. It's a trip. Correct. Yes, a trip to NASA. So please note the dates. I hope all of you have registered. If not, bacha, jaldi se, fatafat se. This is something, you know, that's really important. Yash has put double ticks that already registered. Well done. And I hope just like Yash, all of you have already 
registered if not bachcha right after this session and in fact you can do it simultaneously also all right so yes i can see see a lot of you are saying bahut jaldi exams aa gaye i understand that because you know our session started in april maybe for grade 10 like grade 10 students it started a bit early but more or less in april the session had started for all of us and suddenly the exams are on the corner and we have so much to prepare and suddenly we are you know finding all the subjects a bit difficult a bit tricky how to manage time for every kind of your problem we have a definite solution so we are here and we are here in this race together and our aim is to get as good marks as we can so if we'll aim for 100 definitely we'll get really good marks right so yes we have all kinds of sessions so don't worry we are in this together you'll get chapter revision you'll get exam focused important questions mock tests one shot marathons doubt sessions you name it and it's there so give me a thumbs up if you are in the exam mode full on let's see फटाफट से इन द चैट बॉक्स लेट सी हू आर मोर लाइक विच बैच इज मोर एक्साइटेड इज इट सिक्स टू एट और इज इट नाइन एंड टेन राइट नाउ आई कैन सी दट नाइन एंड टेन इज सुपर एक्साइटेड ओ नाउ सिक्स इन सिक्स टू एट इज विनिंग ग्रेट सो गाइज कीप द चैट फ्लोइंग कीप इंटरक्टिंग विद मीन आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस दैट डोंट बी स्केर्ड ऑफ एग्जाम्स इट ऑल वी आर हियर टू मैनेज एवरीथिंग just subscribe to our channel and you will get all the strategy sessions everything that you require to ace your exam ready to crack the exam that's awesome and yes guys i hope you all know about this because you people wanted us to come up with this mini learning program again you have enjoyed it thoroughly the first time we came up with this and we are back with another really interesting offer but this time it's for the first 1000 users every week You have to use the code YT first, and the mini learning program will be absolutely free for all of you. But you can see it's first come first serve, guys. So quickly, jaldi se register karlo if you want to be taught by India's top teachers. If you want all your concepts to be crystal clear, if you want all your doubts to be clarified, you know what to do. Absolutely right, guys. Sab kuch milega. Bilkul personal guidance would be there. Yes the PDFs would be uploaded don't worry about this All right so let's get started bachcha fatafat se give me a green signal so that i know everything is working fine And yes both the chats are running in front of me and i can see grade 9 and 10 students are they seem to be more excited Buck up 6 8 फटाफट से ग्रीन सिग्नल अच्छा यू फील आर पोस्टिंग ग्रीन फ्रूट्स ऑल्सो थम्स अप ग्रीन हार्ट ग्रेट एब्सोल्यूटली गाइज येस आई कैन डेफिनेटली सी दैट ऑल राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड successful people okay there's a very important thing on the board successful people always have a good routine and they follow it strictly see to prevent the wastage of time and energy we definitely need a good time table i'm sure you all agree with this but you know just making a time table is not enough we have to follow it also how many of you make fancy time tables ki yaar sab dal diya ek din mein all subjects and then you're like happy looking at the time table Yes Dheeraj we'll definitely do that <laughs> a lot of you right i i you know we just tend to make very fancy time tables but what you have to realize is that your time table needs to be a realistic one taki wo achieve ho pae so that you're able to achieve it because you know once we put a tick on certain task that's that's how we get motivated to do the next one Yes absolutely so you know a reasonable time table will help us to channelize our energy in the right direction so that is actually what you know helps us in this transition from being good students to very good and successful students yes yes they live we'll have we'll have one shot for that chapter don't worry you make the time table 
for one year vidisha made a time table for one year that's great but i think uh, my suggestion would be let's let's make it like weekly on a weekly basis or at the most a monthly basis so while you prepare the time table there are some tips that i have for all of you so let's get started with the first one be aware of the syllabus and marking scheme see syllabus is it's a kind of instructive tool you know syllabus actually is very important to avoid a very big blunder and what blunder am i talking about i don't want you to miss out something that's there in the syllabus and at the same time i don't want any one of you to you know in a way cover extra that's not in the syllabus so knowing the syllabus is like the first step kaun se topics aa rahe hain kaun se nahi aa rahe hain acche se jano jo nahi aa rahe hain unko mat padho jo aa rahe hain unko padhna very simple but you know at times what happens we waste a lot of energy in studying the topics which are not there and that's of no use and at times we tend to miss some topics which are there uh, and then we lose a lot of marks so in any case knowing the syllabus is the first step you know it kind of develops a spirit from the very beginning yes absolutely why this point is important because you know right now we have a lot of changes in syllabus pehle kya hota tha pura chapter aata tha but now certain topics are not there so this is very important for you to know why is marking scheme important see marking scheme will actually tell you the approach to write the answer how are you expected see sometimes we have all the knowledge but we don't know how to deliver it we don't know how to put it you know in a proper presentable manner so here we will be discussing the marking schemes as well as and when for every subject when you discuss any question we tell you how to present the answer also and you should yourself also practice in this way yes mahi absolutely right so you know these two are like the prerequisites you know which are very much required great guys absolutely yes don't worry don't be don't be so stressed and anxious just just get to know the necessary topics the chapters all the relevant information from the exam point of view next important thing that you have to do is know your strengths and weaknesses see this is going to be different for all of you but i'm sure you are scared of certain subjects so pick up those subjects first because if you will pick up the easy one first that we know yaar wo to hame aata hai easy subject easy topic is something that we already know so pick up something that you feel that you know that is very difficult because difficult things they need time yes which subject do you find difficult let's see yes pavani exam ki tension bilkul hoti hai yaar yes yes oh maths is scared of social science hindi social science history maths sanskrit physics chemistry hindi science are no this one kid who is saying i'll surely fail no bachcha i am telling you right now you will surely pass civic 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 social science maths so you know what to begin with you know kahan se start karna because you know if you will cover the easy subject first that might give you a false sense of accomplishment that might make you feel ki sab aata hai and then we you know kind of ignore the difficult one don't do that when you plan a time table place the difficult subjects or the difficult topics first that is very important but yes having said that in the exam just do the opposite when you actually appear for the exam try to solve questions which you know first which you find easy so this way you know you'll get in the rhythm of the exam so preparation mein difficult pehle karenge hum and when we give an exam like when we are appearing for an exam at that point of time we'll pick up the easy questions first these are little tricks yes absolutely the next important tip that we have for you is make a list of the important chapters or concepts now see unless and until you have proper conceptual knowledge you will not be able to solve application based questions and now if you will notice you know during our times we used to get very straight forward questions but now that's not the scene that's not the case no spoon feeding is being done no direct questions are there no rote learning is being you know promoted in a way what they want you is they want you to think and how will you actually think when you know the concepts perfectly fine so the important concepts that are repeatedly coming 
if you're in grade six to nine, you would know the questions that are coming in your school in the previous years, right? And if you're in grade ten, everything is available for you. You know what CBSE wants, what questions are there, you know which questions, which chapters are important. You'll you'll understand everything. So understand this thing. कि कौन से फेवरेट क्वेश्चंस हैं, कौन से इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स हैं? Is it possible to complete one chapter in one day? Yes, absolutely, it is very much possible. You love science, you love history, also social science. That's great, Anushka. Oh, you're appearing for Olympiads as well. Good, Suchita. Yes, Yash, I think that's very well said. Next important thing, guys, set up daily and weekly goals. I saw someone was writing one year ka bana diya. That is, you know, something that you might want to change. Have daily goals, weekly goals, monthly at the max. See, goals are very important to track your progress, right? So you have to set up goals. You have to analyze your performance on, you know, on regular basis and keep modifying the timetable accordingly. You can fine tune the timetable, fine tune your schedule based on your performance. So this is again going to be very different for all of you. But yes, one thing that's going to be common is that it's definitely going to save you from the last minute hassle. How many of you, you know, make a to-do list for a certain day? Like for today, this is what all I have to cover. Let's see. Megha. Prachi. Roar, what's your name? Anand, Gungun. Arunama. Funny doctor. Not daily, but you follow. Okay. Manoj, Tiraj. Krishna, yes guys, these, these things are very important. I'll tell you, for, there are two reasons why these things are important. Number one, you will not miss out on something that's important because it's right in front of you. You'll put a tick once it's done. Secondly, when you finish a task, when you finish a chapter, it kind of makes you feel very happy. There's something that you've accomplished in the day, right? So go ahead, definitely set up goals for yourself and save yourself from the last minute confusion and very important point guys when we are planning for a timetable we need that determination to follow that timetable and to practice a lot because there is no substitute for practice you have to repeatedly and regularly keep doing it that's how you'll become better at things yes how to stick to the timetable determination guys Yes. And you know, this way you'll actually understand the pattern of your mistakes as well. Daily goal follow nahi hota. Let's make weekly goals. Yes, you need to have strong determination. Yes, Krati. Yes, Krishna. Absolutely right, all of you. This is something that is super important. Now, let's move on to the timetable that we have to, in a way, you know, try to follow. And for this, one thing that is very important is we have morning time, we have school, afternoon, evening, we've got weekends, right? I'll tell you what needs to be done when, but you can definitely modify. I'm telling you again, you can modify this as per your convenience. What I am trying to show you over here is that this is how much you can achieve in a day. You push the hours here and there, you push the, you know, timetable here and there. That is completely up to you. But try to follow all these things in a single day. So let's get started with the first one. That is the morning routine. All right. Now we are. Again, if you think 5.30 is too early for you, you can definitely change the time according to yourself. But say, suppose you get up around 5.30, splash some water, you know, over your eyes. Just freshen up. Drink some water, do your daily activities and I think 30 minutes is enough for that, right? Once you're done with this, next thing, morning time is the best time to learn new things, to focus on weak subjects because the day has just started. You're fresh at this point of time. So pick up something that requires maximum concentration and attention. The concepts that you feel you're weak at. I see a lot of you saying maths. Siddhar lagta hai, social science se lagta hai, whichever subject you feel. If it's science for you, it might be any language. A lot of you were saying language subjects nahi padhe jate. So whichever subjects you feel, 
No, bacha, don't feel this way, Anushka. See, we are live on both the channels, so the chat is running constantly. So I might miss one or two comments here and there, but don't worry. Yes. Hey, hey Manoj, if holidays are going up, I think you can still get up at 5.30 or 6 in the morning. See, if your school starts early, then you know, after coming back from school, then your school would end early also, right? So after coming back from school, you will get plenty of time. You can shift one or two hours from here and do it post your school timings. So yes, the main thing to pinpoint away is pick up something that requires maximum concentration first. Okay, that is very, very important. Next, have breakfast, have a healthy one because that's a very important meal of the day. So, it's there to, you know, boost your energy. You can, you can have eggs, you can have oatmeal, you can have bread, butter. What do you people prefer for breakfast? Let's see. Let's get a menu ready for ourselves here. Fruits. That's great. Yes, fruits are very healthy. You can definitely have it for breakfast. You feel lazy in the morning. Hmm. Oreo and milk, cornflakes, sprouts, oatmeal, sandwich, banana shake, almonds, great guys. See, almonds with milk, okay. Porridge, see you have so many interesting options to boost your energy. So, you can pick up any from these options. Bread and milk, french toast. Chocos, conflicts, great. So, after having the breakfast or you know, meanwhile that you're having breakfast, you can always relax yourself. You can listen to music. I think listening to music is my favorite part of the day. And I'm sure you all will agree. How many music lovers are out there? How many of you feel very relaxed when you, you know listen to music? Hey Radhika. Oh, you like porridge. A lot of you, you all are music lovers, right? I think it adds, you know, infinitely more fun to our life. Yes. So keep relaxing in between as well. Then, of course, once you are a bit relaxed, you need to get ready to go to school. So make a checklist of what all things you need. And, you know, don't go to schools. I suppose it's an exam and... Your stationery is not ready or maybe you needed a graph paper that is not there, map. These are the things that we tend to forget. So make a checklist of what all you need and make sure you carry all of that. Nahi to class ke bahar khade kara dete ab to. Hey Vaishnavi, I think 6 o'clock is a fair enough time. 6 a.m. Oh, you go to school 4 hours before. That's okay. You can cover all this up later on. Yes, correct, absolutely guys. Now, once you know we are done with all the routine there, the next is the school time. So let's get started, let's go to school now. So you are there in the school, say about for 6 hours, I'm sure the timing might be different for all of you, but this is more or less the duration, isn't it? And I want all of you to enjoy your school life. You know, you will make some beautiful memories out there. So follow the school timetable, be productive, participate in activities. That's that's something that, you know, you will remember forever. What do you like best? What do you think is the best thing about your school? Let's see. Oh, 8 hours. That's okay. 6 hours, 8 hours. 7 to 1.30. Hmm. Masti, Bharti Singh, Masti badi hai school ki. Friends, sports, badminton court. Game spirit, yes, I think that's something we all like, right? Yes, and we, we kind of feel very bad when some subject teacher takes that sports period. Games, yes. I'm remembering my school time now. Laboratories you like. Yeah, absolutely. 
absolutely right all of you this is so amazing you like activity classes so there is something that you look forward to when you go to school so enjoy your school life be very attentive in class and i'll tell you a way to utilize your time so not every subject teacher would be present every day right so you might have free periods in between not the game period some free slots might be there utilize those to solve questions and problems so this is how you will make time and this is how you will save time after coming back from school so if you will complete say some homework assignment or something in your free period see you can't talk as it is in a class if some substitution teacher is there you can't talk at that point of time you better utilize that time and this is how you'll you know benefit out of it later on no but i'm not ignoring anyone oh social science is your favorite class Good to know, Vaishnavi. Yes, study wow. I can see that. Hey, Sangeeta. Oh, near you go six o'clock. That's cool. So yes, this is how you can utilize your free time over there. Now, the next important thing is afternoon. What to do once you're back from school? Let's see now. Once you're back from school, the first thing, of course, change your clothes, relax, have wholesome lunch. That is very important. You know, your lunch should contain proteins, carbohydrates, green vegetables. I know we might not like green vegetables a lot, but trust me, they are very beneficial. And especially when we have to study so much, so we need to be really, really active as well. Yes, absolutely, guys. Oh, you like lady finger? Yes, Palak. Okay. Good, Prati. Good to know that. And I think, अच्छा, how many of you feel kind of sleepy right after, say about you know once you have your lunch in the afternoon? How many of you feel sleepy? Let's see. Tell me about this. How many of you feel sleepy? I mean, I remember my time. I I kind of after eating itself, and there is tiredness when you come from school. You kind of feel a little sleepy at times. Oh, the chat box is flooding with one word: me, 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 me. Everybody, a lot of you. So at that point of time, once you've had your lunch, go ahead and take a power nap because after the power nap, you'll feel very alert. Now. This power nap is there to improve your learning. It's not to laze around. It's not to you know just chill. Understand this thing. Three thirty to four thirty. This one hour. So starting from the point that you're going for a power nap, have a thirty forty minute power nap. Get up, you know, freshen up. Just wash your face and all. Splash some water and be back to you know the next task. So one hour, and in this one hour you have to kind of cover up everything revolving around a power nap. So. तो पावर आप नीड्स टू बी फॉर थर्टी टू फोर्टी मिनट्स मैक्स ऐसा नहीं कि यार दो घंटे का पावर नैप ले रहे हो वो पावर नैप नहीं है दैट्स अ प्रॉपर नैप एंड देन यू नो यू माइट नॉट फील स्लीपी एट नाइट देन Yes, and you know it is I I can see a lot of you feel better emotionally also feel better physically of course you know you feel better in the sense that you're not that tired anymore so it improves your mood पावर नैप डेफिनेटली इम्प्रूव योर मूड Don't sleep for two hours. That's too much. Oh, Lakshmi is saying precisely twenty-seven minutes. Ha, huh, correct. Yes, Ruv, I definitely like Raj Machhawal. All right. Next, after this, the next important point. That we have over here is the evening time. How to utilize the evening time? Well, let's see. Now, for the evening time, once you rub, once the power nap time is over, you would be very fresh right after this, right? Study the concepts that involves memory and solving at that point of time. You know, you might pick up say science, you might pick up maths. Concepts you have not properly understood. Any difficult concept and practice because you know right after we get up, we are sleeping. We have relaxed. Now when we get up, we are fresh. In the morning also we picked up difficult subjects. In the afternoon or in the evening also we'll pick up subjects or topics that require a lot of practice. And then this is the best time to practice. 
Will you take the power nap on the table itself? Okay. Then, after we study for certain time, 6 to 6.15, you can definitely have your evening snack. You can have boiled eggs, you can have fruits, eggs, anything. Any healthy sandwich. What do, you, what do you people prefer for snacks in the evening? I hope we are not missing the evening snacks. A lot of you are saying Maggie. Tea, fruits, apple, egg, sandwich, burger, chocolate shake, achcha, pizza. How is this evening snack? Cookies. That's okay, Arav. If you feel fresh, you might not take the power nap. Energy drinks like Bon Vita, achcha. Apple or pure. Achha. Gungun is saying, Jo milta kha lete. You know, try to have something very light, very healthy. And then, right after that, again, I'm sure you're feeling a bit tired by now because, you know, you've been awake since 5.30 in the morning. So, pick up a subject that you are confident with. This is the time to pick up, you know, language subjects. I think language subjects are comparatively, we kind of feel more confident when we study language subjects or maybe some easy topics of any subject. And revise those, study and revise those topics. Because at 8 o'clock, I know you are feeling a bit tired by then. Absolutely right. Next important thing, have light dinner. That is very important. So you need to have light dinner. See, you can have porridge, you can have khichdi, ro roti, dal, whatever. But make sure to have light dinner. It has endless benefits. After your dinner time, then again, you can relax a bit. It might vary, you know, from person to person. You can play puzzles. I think puzzles kind of improves your thought process. How many of you like solving puzzles? You know, sometimes when I'm on my way to office, I kind of solve puzzles and I like it. How many of you like solving puzzles? I think it sharpens your memory. You play with your brother, that's great. Mostly you have kichdi, achcha. Sudoku. Yes. I think it kind of improves our problem solving skills also. Snakes and ladder, achcha. You see movie, that's okay. You have dal rice for dinner. You, do, you like to do coloring. See, whatever relaxes you. It might be music for some, it might be puzzles for someone else. Rubik's Cube. Yes. Shivam, how to avoid watching phone? See, you can't definitely always avoid it, but you can fix a time for that. What we can do is we can fix timings for that. You do exercise, that's great, but not right after having a meal. Alright, now that you are feeling very relaxed after your favorite hobby, now is the time to revise. See, it's the best time to revise because, you know, by the end of the day, we have kind of accomplished most of the things that we had there in the to-do list. So, after dinner, devote time to revise whatever you've studied so far. This is very important because you, this used to happen with me. I used to keep forgetting stuff. So, if you'll keep forgetting stuff, the best way is to keep revising again and again. Because see, always remember, it's it's not the quantity of the study material or the quantity of concepts that matters, it's the quality. If you'll cover everything, remember nothing, it's of no use, isn't it? So whatever you're studying, keep revising simultaneously. Rose karna ya, rose karna bilkul. You have to, you know, and this is something which in a way is better if you do active revision and not passive revision. I tell you the difference. See, passive revision is you've opened the book in front of you, you're just reading and Are hai padha tha. this is like passive revision. Active revision is when you actually make notes, make summaries, make flow charts, make mind maps, you'll actually understand the subject better. Say, suppose it's chemistry. You have so many formula equations, write them down. Say, suppose it's physics. You have numericals, solve them. Just don't read them, solve them. Biology, you have diagrams. Make those diagrams. Just don't look at the diagrams and feel that I've revised. So, active revision can here. Absolutely, guys. And then, after revising, 
have some soothing thoughts you know have some positive thoughts before going to sleep and then you can brush up and go to bed i think this is very important that we sleep on a very positive note because it kind of determines it kind of decides our tone for the next day as well see har simran is saying this time table is easy to follow you can definitely you know change it modify it put some hours here and there but in a single day just imagine how much time you have and still yes absolutely still you're getting 7 hours of sleep in the night you're not able to study after 8 i think this is a very good question bridge mohani tandon says that i'm not able to study after 8 o'clock what to do bachcha after 8 don't study anything new but we can always revise that's how we can make use of that time in a very effective manner don't pick up anything new because you know by then you're a bit tired but you can definitely pick up something that you've already learned and revise it and make sure that you know that portion is you know super you've mastered that part absolutely right now coming to the weekend see a lot of you have holidays or weekends so let's see what needs to be done then some of the points are same i'll quickly take you through them so of course you will get up in the morning you will freshen up you'll drink some water you'll do the morning task then you'll pick up the subjects which requires maximum concentration as we discussed in the morning pick up something that requires maximum concentration and attention sleep early get up early yes desha absolutely after that you will have your breakfast see breakfast in a way breaks the overnight fasting period so it has to be a good one it has to be something that gives you a lot of energy even on the weekends don't don't pick up something don't if you'll have say suppose chole bhature for your breakfast then you'll again sleep so have a healthy breakfast have something that will keep you awake after your breakfast like your normal school days you can you know I listen to some music whatever your favorite part of the day is kind of whatever your hobby is you can definitely do that just chill a bit now 9 to 3 you are in school but on weekends or you know on some holidays you are at home what to do at that point of time now a quick recap is required to reinforce the important points so make flash cards have some quick revision of the things that you have learned in the morning so in the morning we picked up something that was very difficult right after that if we revise it it is going to stay here till your exam try this out try this out okay next after that you can study or practice a conceptual subject like science or maths See, it's going to vary from person to person what is the main focus of a, over here is that you need to study for 2 hours at a go that is very much required bachcha 2 ghante hum bilkul baithenge padhenge because even when we give the exam the duration is somewhere between 2 to 3 hours depending upon your school it is between 2 to 3 hours so we have to develop this habit of sitting at one place and studying for 2 hours straight otherwise you know what happens when you go and give the exam first hour is very good second hour is just okay third hour is like oh god we can't sit anymore but if we are you know if we develop this habit beforehand that's going to be very easy all right yes har simran right after that you need a quick recap again two hours you studied something revise that see how much focus i'm putting on revision revision effective revision is not something that can be rushed you know at the last moment you need to keep doing it then you had early breakfast you're going to have wholesome early lunch as well but have a light one after that power nap time see if you're awake according to this plan 5:30 in the morning you would definitely feel tired say around 1 or 2 o'clock go ahead your power nap time is there make most of it Yes, absolutely. Depends if you're a vegetarian or a non-vegetarian. Yes, yes. 
Then after that, study concept subjects which involves memory and solving. You can pick up social science, you can pick up science, anything but again for two hours straight. See how much time you're able to make in a day. That is something very important. Then four to five is your chill time. It's your gala time, okay? You can work on your hobbies. Hobbies, I think, I would say that hobbies is equal to happiness. Do you also feel this way? You know, it kind of keeps you engaged in something that you like. I want to know your hobby. Chalo, fata fata quickly in the comment section. Let's see what interesting hobbies you people have. What do you do when you get bored? Any favorite outdoor game that you have? Because I think outdoor games are also very much required. Kind of keeps you active and fit. Physical development bhi ho jati hai. Singing, karate, badminton, painting, coding. Oh, nice. Exploring. Selfie lena. Chalo, theek hai. Cycling, guitar, sketching, everything. How can everything be an hobby? Drawing, painting. That's great, all of you. Listening to music, cricket. See, you people have such amazing hobbies. Alright, right after that, you will have your evening snacks, you can have boiled chickpeas, you can have boiled egg fruits, whatever you like. Then, after that, it's very important that you, you know, let this be a light study time. Pick up something that you like to read. You know, you can pick up language subjects, you can pick up any interesting topic, something that you like. Go ahead and, you know, utilize this time in this manner. Then, after that, it's your dinner time. But again, light dinner, early dinner. So, there are a lot of benefits of eating early and having light dinner. Starting from your digestion to metabolism to better sleep. Endless list is there. Absolutely right, all of you. Then, after that... Again comes your calming time. So you can do relaxing activities. I think, you know, when we do something relaxing, it kind of increases our concentration. So yes, memory be improve hogi, mood be improve hoga, decision making improve hoga, problem solving improve hoga. Eventually, this is something that's going to help us when we sit for an exam as well. So go ahead, relax, because I know, I understand you need your sweet time to relax as well. So definitely it needs to be there in your timetable. Then, after that, practice previous year question papers. I'll put a star here. This is the most important point. See, this will help you understand the diversity of concepts, questions that are there, which is something really, really important. Now, yes, previous year question papers. You people solve it. That's great. You'll actually understand the nature of questions that are being asked. I think this is one very important trick to ace the exam, always. Because kuch topics, kuch questions, teachers ke favorite hote hain, that are, you know, coming every year. Yes, you can make, you can definitely ask your seniors. For grade 10, it's comparatively easy because they can get everything here at Baiju's also from the net itself. Yes, correct. Alright, then... Quick revision of formulae or definitions. I think revision is something that is coming again and again to reinforce whatever we've done. This is very important, guys. You keep asking what's what's the magic way to score very well. This is the magic way to keep revising. Very easy, effective, magical way to score better is to keep revising whatever you've done. Tabi mastery ho jayegi. Yes, Madhuri, I've seen it. Yes, Purnima, Lakshmi, Chitra. Srishti. Okay. Alright. Then towards the end of the day, just quiet your racing mind. I'm sure we have loads of thoughts. We have so many thoughts, so many mixed thoughts. Not just towards the end of the day, throughout the day. So just calm your mind. Remember to have positive thoughts before you go off to sleep. Because, you know, this used to happen with me as a student when I did not have a very relaxed mind when I used to stress a lot over something. I used to see all those weird dreams. So, I don't want you to see weird dreams where you're chasing something, not able to get that. This kind of happens, right? So, just calm your mind. Yes, this happens with you. I'm, I'm very sure you can relate to this. 
Yes, yes, this is the night time. All right. So with this, you know what to do in a day. You know what to make out of a single day. How much you can cover. This is something very, very important for all of you to understand that there are so many things. In a single day, you can study more than a subject. You can revise whatever you've studied. You can, you know, have not skip your meals. You can have proper breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything. At the same time, you can relax your mind. You can, you know, have time for puzzles. You can have time for your hobbies. And then towards the end of the day, you can sleep peacefully. So this can be achieved. Now it is up to you to do that. A quick thumbs up in the comment section. If you people are, you know, all set to actually implement this. Let's see. Fatah would say, post your favorite emoji. And this way I'll understand. Your favorite emoji is kind of going to tell me your state of mind right now. A lot of dabs are there. A lot of thumbs up. Great. So if you people feel that this is a timetable that you can implement, which by the way is, you can definitely go try this out. Quickly hit the like button as well. Let's see how many of you are going to hit the like button for this video. Great Krishna, Lipika, Anmol, Sahipreet, Harry, Lakshmi, Yash, Chitra, Devanshi, Gungun, Mohini, Anushri, and so many of you are there. Fatavad say, Bacha, hit the like button because, yes, definitely we've got you covered. We are here to help you to make sure that you're able to ace the exam. And a quick reminder don't forget to register for Anthe. The link is right there in the description box. Come out of your comfort zone, guys. This is something that you can definitely try. Yes. Yes, you will get the practice questions here. You just need to subscribe to our channel. You'll get plenty of good questions. And talking about questions, talking about recipe for success, we have it here. Just subscribe to our channel. Everything you get. For every chapter, you'll get you know, PDF notes. For every chapter, you will get important exam-based questions exam focused questions for every chapter you'll get one shots mock test doubt solving everything so chapter by chapter we'll keep mastering so this mission is to ace the exam and we are in this together just hit the like share and subscribe button so that you know you're able to attend all the classes and for superior learning and results you know what to do for the first thousand users every week, YT first code can be used. And for all of you, this mini learning program would be free. For the first thousand users only. Huh? So, I see a lot of you have just joined us today. So, jaldi se use kalo yaar. Isse pehle, you know, you lose this chance. Good, keep learning. Good to read that. And yes, make your personalized timetable now. I've shown you what all you can do in a day. Now it's your time to make your personalized timetable. And don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button as well. And before I close, I want all of you to post your favorite subject in the comment section. So during the session, I asked you, kiss subjects are dull lagta hai? But I also want to know your favorite subject. So right after the session gets over in the comment section, post your favorite subject and let's see. Which subject is something that you really like to read? Great guys, a lot of energy is there. So keep smiling, keep working hard and I'll see you in the next session. Take care, bye-bye.